White Board Grameen Phones Initiative to empower and support Bangladeshi startups came up with the concept of organizing the country's first two-day hackathon supporting the game developers of Bangladesh Game Jam 2017 was a joint initiative between Grameen Phone and White Board in association with the ICT division Government of Bangladesh. In Bangladesh, over 50% of the population is youth-based in between the age of 18 to 25 and there is a huge market potential for the gaming industry. However, most of these people are dependent on foreign-made games, for which reason there is not enough Bangladeshi games in the local context in Play Store or App Store. Our job as an agency was to design the look and feel and entire branding for this campaign, attract and engage the participants, form partnerships and add value to the event execution. We first designed the mnemonic and communication plan and then started communicating the event with teaser posts on social media revealing the logo. Then we launched the event promo video which was instrumental in engaging potential participants. Game Jam pre-event info sessions were organized at six universities where extensive activations with knowledge sharing forums were arranged to attract more participants. In addition to that, we engaged in heavy digital communication using 360 digital communication tools. Our large focus was put in by our art directors on aligning the communication with the look and feel of whiteboard, which mainly has a doodle approach. We went with the route of giving old school games like Mario a local twist, which gave it a retro and quirky feel. There was a 36-hour boot camp where the registered participants were invited and trained to get them prepared for the main event. The event was covered live on Facebook and there were live bloggers who were updating people outside the event. The campaign was a huge success. Five teams emerged as winners. Ever since then, two of the four games were even launched in Play Store, from which they are even monetizing today. This campaign was covered by multiple newspapers and media outlets.